risk management of... Uh, We're one of the first outsiders to enter Al Shaddadi in northern Syria after IS was driven out of here. It's a ghost town now. The IS stamp is on the front of every shop. It was how the extremists managed their extortion racket. Taxes, they called it. Airstrikes have flattened many of the key buildings. This is what's left of the police station, where people were tortured for crimes like smoking. A makeshift gallows still hangs outside. They killed them on the ground, and then they hanging him to all people see him. Yes. There are booby trap bombs left everywhere. This is outside the old library. Another two at the entrance to what appeared to be a medical station treating the injured. And another device left outside a military factory. In row upon row of houses are the remnants of the IS fighters' lives. Meals left in a hurry, belongings scattered, and a glimpse into the Islamic State. This is the Daesh fighters, the IS fighters' salary slip. He was paid $125 a month. He had to write military reports on all the places where he'd battled, and these come from Anbar province, from Hasaka here in northern Syria, and from Raqqa. He was obviously learning Arabic. This is part of his Arabic lessons. And a lot of personal information about him himself I'll just turn it round, uh, showing that he had eight wives, that he bought one woman as a sex slave, and she had four children. It even gives detail about his blood type and his shoe size. The Islamic State terrorized the residents here, imposing strict rules and forbidding women to go outside unless accompanied by a male relative. Here they had plenty of time to dig in for war. In the backyards of the fighters' homes, we found bunkers, some fit to sleep in. In another, a much more elaborate structure, kept out of sight behind blacked windows and locked away, perhaps intended as an escape route for the elite. From the huge big shaft, then right round here and through, this was an incredible elaborate system and they were planning to basically tunnel their way out of here, if needs be. The IS fighters turned a large building in the town into what became known as the Rape House, where they took women for sex, and where they left behind bombs attached to light switches, rigged to go off. Uh, he says, uh, uh, he says uh, they have uh, some uh, intelligence, Dash, they tell him, uh, they, they get some information, that Dash used this uh, hotel to uh, take a rest for fighters or to sleep with girls. To rape the girls. Yes. We found a lone family hiding out amongst the empty buildings who'd somehow survived the two years under IS or Daesh. They used electricity when any woman went outside, like to the market, she says. If they showed any bit of skin, they would shock you with these electric prods. The rebel armed group calling itself the Syrian Democratic Forces is still celebrating this military success. Al Shaddadi is strategically vital, the last major town before the IS headquarters in Raqqa and rich in oil and gas. In the woods of the refinery, there's a large bombs cache, piles of homemade explosive devices packed into cooking pots and other household containers. There's a loaded suicide vest. And artillery shells from Latakia, a stronghold of the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad. There are also rockets still in their casings. This will be used as proof that the Syrian leader is in league with the IS fighters and is funding and supplying them. The stash includes larger models, most likely intended to be used as roadside bombs. They're stacked up next to a pile of pressure plates. You join this plate to the fuse. They then bury the plate, and then when there's any pressure on it, the bomb will explode.
Also recovered are archaeological treasures. These are believed to be between six and eight thousand years old and thought to be a valuable source of funding for the IS group on the black market. The terror group didn't seem to be short of military supplies. There were Iraqi uniforms and equipment still in their packaging. There were boxes of gas masks and decontamination powder for use in a chemical attack. Now their sights are on the big prize, Raqqa, where many of the IS fighters have fled to and where they've been digging in for two years. Alex Crawford, Sky News in Al-Shaddadi, northern Syria.